Number 11. The Handbook of Chemistry and Physics gives solubilities of the following compounds in grams per 100 milliliters of water. Because these compounds are only slightly soluble, assume that the volume does not change on dissolution and calculate the solubility product for each. And then we have this ionic compound here, La2MOO3, with the solubility of 0 0.00179 grams in 100 milliliters of water. Okay. Now, a lot of wording up top here to ask one question, which is just to calculate the solubility product. And remember, the solubility product is a KSP. So we're just looking for a KSP value. And remember, a KSP value always comes from the uh, balanced equation of the compound, the ionic compound that you're starting with. So in this case, we're starting with La2 and then MOO4, 3. Now, since this is a dissolution, we are taking this compound that started off as a solid, did say that it was slightly soluble, and it's going to break down into its ions. Since we're solving for a KSP, this has to come to equilibrium. Any K value will be at equilibrium with its uh, two uh, ions. But now what are they? Well, it looks like we have this polyatomic here, moo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> moo. Okay, anyway. So we have a polyatomic here, and remember, polyatomics don't break up. So it seems like the break has to be between the La and the moo compound, right? M-O-O-4. So that's the first thing. La plus M O O four. But now since we're dissolving, we need to find out what these ions are, right? The, the compound's gonna break up into its ions in the water. Well, that's where we go back to basics to our uh, handy dandy little crisscross method where we take the subscripts and crisscross them back up. There was two LAs for every three M O O fours. So this two crisscrosses up, telling us that the MOO4 had a, a negative two charge, and the three crisscrosses up, telling us that the LA had a plus three. So I know that the LA has a plus three, and the MOO4 has a negative two. Since we have charges, they're going to be aqueous. And this compound that we're starting with was a solid. The solid dissolves into its ions. Now, we just have to make sure that this is balanced, right? But I have two LAs, so I have to put a 2 in front of the LA here. I have three MOOO4s, so I have to put a 3 in front of that polyatomic. And now we're good. So that's the first step. Now, from this balanced equation, I could make kind of like a general equation as to what the KSP would be for this problem. Remember, the general KSP formula is this one right here. It's just the concentration of the products raised to the coefficients because your ionic compound that you start with is always going to be a solid if you're f finding out a, a solubility product. And no solids allowed. No solids allowed. As my five-year-old self would say. Anyway, <laughs> I think I've done way too many chemistry problems today. So this might be the last one for the day, but we'll see. Okay, so the two products are the two ions, right? So we have La plus three times the MOO4 minus two. But remember, with KSPs, you just got to be careful. We have to raise them to the coefficients. There was two LAs, so I have to raise the concentration of the LA to, to the second power. And there was three MOO4s, so I have to raise whatever the concentration of this is to the third power. But now the question is, do I know what the concentration of LA is at the moment and the mu compound? No. So I have to find that first. 
that the only number that they gave us was this starting material, the 0.00179 grams per 100 mils. But keep in mind, if I want to find a molarity, which is always what these brackets are, molarity is always in moles divided by liters. So it looks like a good old conversion where we have to convert grams into moles and milliliters into liters. Let's do it. So I'm going to come down here, 0 0.00179 grams of the original compound. So that's the ionic compound, the La2MO043. And this is all over 100 grams, not 100 grams, 100 milliliters. Do one conversion at a time. Let's convert the grams into the uh, moles. So times by the ratio. Put the unit you don't want on the other side. So grams of the La2MO043 goes on the bottom. Moles of La2MO043 goes up on top. This is the periodic table. One mole on the periodic table equals the molar mass. So let's find it out. LA, 138.9 times 2, plus 3 MOs, so plus 3 times molybdenum, 95.95, plus 12 oxygens. So I get 757. I think that's an airplane. 757. Is that 747? I don't know anymore. Oh, man. Anyway, grams. Can't solve with grams. And we're left with the top unit of moles. Now, let's just convert the milliliters. So, times by the second ratio. Just keep flowing with it. I don't want milliliters, so that has to go on the top now because it was on the bottom. And then liters go on the bottom. A thousand mils for every one liter. Cancel out milliliters. You're now left with liter, and that's the unit for molarity. Moles divided by liter. Let's just figure that out. 0 0.00179 divided by 100 divided by 757.65 divided by, or actually, times. Times by a thousand. 2.363, yep, times 10 to the negative fifth, and that's mole per liter. But the thing is here, this number is for the beginning compound. So that's all the way over here. So 2.363 times 10 to the negative fifth, now I'm just going to put capital M. But remember, in order to answer this question, I need the concentration for the LA3 plus and the MOO4, negative 2. But that's where the mole ratio comes in. Remember, there was one, maybe I'll put it in red, there was one la 2 moo 4 threes for every two LA plus threes and three MOO4 two minuses. So just use your mole ratio. If you have one of these, the LA3 plus will be two times that amount. So I have to times it by two times the 2.363 times 10 to the negative fifth. And then for the other one, it's a 1 to 3. So whatever this number is, I'm just going to multiply it by 3 times the 2.363 times 10 to the negative fifth. And now let's figure out what those numbers are. So 2 times 2.363 times 10 to the negative fifth, I get 4.726 times 10 to the negative fifth molarity, and then 3 times 2.363 times 10 to the negative fifth, 7.089 times 10 to the negative fifth molarity. Okay, and these are now your numbers, the molarities that you're going to plug in for the KSP. So let's go for it. KSP 
equals the first one had to be raised to the second, and the second one has to be raised to the third, according to our general formula that we wrote. So 4.726 times 10 to the negative fifth, and we get 7.089 times 10 to the negative fifth. Cool. KSP equals, KSP equals this one, I'm going to raise that to the third, and then I'm going to times it by 4.726 times 10 to the negative fifth, and that one is squared. So I'm just plugging it into the calculator, and three sig figs, so 7.9. 6, yeah? Yeah. Times 10 to the negative 22. Whoa, this is really slightly soluble. That number is so low. That means at equilibrium, I mean, you barely broke off a chunk of this into the ions. Incredible. But anyway, I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for viewing the video, and I hope that I'm getting the explanations across to you guys in the easiest way possible, all right? Um, yeah, it's uh, 3.13 a.m., so I'm going to call it for today. <laughs> Good night, and sleep well. Okay, bye-bye.